Your sights come to set. Bro, I'm not finna do this. I look stupid. Bro, it's our first Halloween episode. Bro, I don't even, bro. All right, all right, fine. I can't even move my neck. <laughs> What's good, family? It's your boy Sykes, and you are looking live at another episode of Special Delivery, where today it is Halloween, or, well, it's close enough to Halloween for me to say it's Halloween. And since it is Halloween, you know we had to get a Halloween sneaker on set for y'all to look at. So today we're taking a look at Nike's brand new Air Force One Experimental in this Halloween flavor, and dog, I'm telling y'all, these things are spooktacular, y'all. Spooktacular! I am not apologizing for my corniness today because I feel like it is wholly appropriate. I mean, this is just what Nike does for Halloween. They have so much fun with all their different sneakers, but I think they've honestly done a great job of that with the Air Force One specifically. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that history today, but before we get into it though, we gotta unbox these things, so let's do it. Yo, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to get out of that costume, yo. That joint was hot. I'm sweaty. Like, I had to throw on my Mars Blackman get up. Y'all see it, right? Y'all see the vision, what I'm, what I'm trying to do with it? Whatever. Anyway, let's see what these shoes is hitting on, man. Let's see. Let's see what they talking about. Oh. Yo, look at these joints. This shoe is so fun. This thing is so dope. Like it's it's weird, but it's also very cool. Like you can tell it lives up to that that experimental name. And it makes sense because it's a part of Nike's N354 program, which is this, this program where they take these silhouettes and do a bunch of weird stuff to them. That like they legit like experiment on these silhouettes and give them different looks than, than we're traditionally used to. And you can see that play itself out all throughout this Air Force One. Like you see, it has this vacuum sealed plastic wrap all over it. And it has like like this, this Halloween eye print right here, which is really, really interesting, really cool. And you can't actually like pull this off. You would have to like legit cut this off if you wanted to take this paper off. And then underneath of that layer, you've got this foam material right here. And, and Nike says that this foam is the same foam that they use in these masks that they use in their lab. And, and honestly, to me, I don't really get mask vibes from these things. But anyway, moving on, moving along, you got your lacing system, which I also think is really cool. So you got your typical laces right here, right? Like you can tie these shoes normally if you want to do it, but you can also use this bungee system right here to adjust for comfort however you see fit, which is a, a really cool touch on uh, the Air Force One. And then honestly, my favorite part of this sneaker is the Halloween touch to it. This thing actually glows in the dark. And with the magic of B-roll, you can see that right now. But anyway, man, these things are just amazing. This, this is such a cool shoe, but honestly, this is what Nike does on Halloween. They give us really cool shoes to look at, really creative touches on their sneakers. And, and honestly, Throughout their history of giving us Halloween sneakers, I think they've done the best job of that with the Air Force One. Let's talk a little bit about that history. If y'all think these forces are cool, man, y'all should see some of the other joints that Nike has given us through the years. So, so let's, let's start from the beginning. This all started in 1998 when Nike dropped their first Halloween sneaker. It was an Air Force One, but Nobody knew that it was really a Halloween shoe. I mean, if you just look at it, it's a, a, a black Air Force One with an orange swoosh and the swoosh is kind of smaller. So this was a special edition sneaker for Halloween. Nobody just realized it at the time. But then seven years later, Nike doubled back on the Halloween vibes and gave us a patent leather sneaker in this orange and black colorway with this skull and this hand on, on the heel of it. So you knew that shoe was a Halloween sneaker. And then they did the same thing again in 2006, except this time they used the same silhouette, but cut the color blocking in half to make it so that it split directly down the middle between orange and black, sort of like the Homage to Home Jordan colorway that we saw a few years ago. They did that with that sneaker in 2006 and it, it was pretty good. But honestly, my favorite Halloween sneaker from the Air Force One line might be the 2009 Savage Beast joints. Like those joints are incredible, y'all. It's just a, a sneaker with orange fur 
all over it. It just looks amazing, man. I don't know if it's supposed to be like Bigfoot or if it's supposed to be a, 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 a werewolf or if it's supposed to be that dude from Looney Tunes who's just orange and furry. Like, I, I really don't know that guy's name, honestly. But but whatever it is, it's supposed to be amazing is, is what I know. And, and this is just what Nike has given us with the Air Force One over the years. And you go to 2018 with the skeleton foot Air Force One. You go to, to these joints right here, they're, they're incredible. And they've also done this with different silhouettes on Halloween, like the Night of Mischief dunks from 2019 or, or this year's mummy dunks, honestly. They're, they're really cool, really fun Halloween sneakers. And that's what this is all about, just having fun and being creative with these different sneaker silhouettes. And, and to me, they've done the best job of this with the Air Force One. So for the brass tacks, I honestly wanted to give y'all this whole spiel about how the Air Force One is a classic Nike model and you can do so many things with it. I mean, the shoe is a blank canvas, like you can wear it in the classic ice white colorway or you can wear a done up Halloween version of it and it still looks good and, and that's amazing. But I feel like y'all already know that. So I won't bore you with that. Instead, what I wanna do is wish you a happy Halloween. I feel like in our world, we have not had any semblance of normal for a really, really long time. And Halloween was one of those normal things, but we missed that last year because of the pandemic. Now, fast forward to this year, we know things a little bit better. We know how to navigate this pandemic a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, still have to be safe out here, but we can do things a little bit better. And I think this year, for the first time in a while, it feels like things are, are slowly but surely getting back to normal. And I think Halloween can be a part of that. Me, I've taken Halloween for granted for a while. And of course I have because I'm not a 12 year old. I don't trick or treat anymore. Like that's obviously not the vibe. But this year I'm gonna do my best to get out there, go be in the neighborhood, have some fun, have a happy Halloween. And I encourage y'all to do the same. But Anyway, family, that's a wrap for special delivery. I'm your boy Sykes, and this is Nike's Air Force One Experimental in this Halloween flavor. We'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Special Delivery. Make sure you like and subscribe to catch future episodes of Special Delivery, and let us know in the comments, what's your favorite candy to get on Halloween? For me, it's definitely them Sour Patch, man. You cannot go wrong with those.